I don't think I've seen the tide come in this much ever since we've been here. Look at this, look how close it is here. Um, it's the spring tide today. There's also been a hell of a lot of rain. It's supposed to be raining all day today, but I think it cleared out, thank God. But look at this. It's so high that it's even formed like an extra little section there in the land. God, I can't believe this. And it's still coming in. I have looks at things like this, the wood here. And to be honest with you, the wood went silvery so quickly last time. I'm not gonna bother treating it. If I do, it'll be a case of a quick wipe and a quick lick of oil. And we'll just spend like an hour one morning doing it in the summer probably. But I think when it goes on the sea, when she's on the sea, she takes, it just sucks her dry, this wood. So it is Iroko, so it should be fine. The aim is to get down to Bar Bala on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So we've got today and tomorrow. And then Thursday will be an early start. So that's the plan anyway. The thing I wanted to do is just double check these blooming lacing hooks are in the same spot each side. The answer to that question is they do seem to be there, there. This one isn't because as you can see, it's right on the edge there. This one is a bit off. And then that one there, that one looks a little bit further this way. So they're not spot on by any means. Don't know why, maybe someone put them in like that or maybe they would be moved, who knows? But that means we need to measure up each one of the islets this side individually. So let's get the tent up anyway and let's see if we can push it on. Just do it like that. That might work. Just gotta be aware this is a little bit wobbly. So I just need to treat it with a bit of care. Oh. So that's that. Just put two turns around there. Just to... Oh, that's the train. Little. Should we have a look? <laughs> Don't see that very often. nice and easy to set up and then all you have to really do is dive under and do these last ones like this. And then this flap will sort of be under, we can velcro it, there you go, and create like a little section like this. I mean it's nearly there isn't it? It's about there. I can just say that uh, you know these were by design. These little, these little corner edges. <laughs> there we go. Thinking about this, I do wonder whether it's not so good having the, the string come under. Whether we should just have a, a few, a, you know, one one loop in the middle, or maybe just two loops and one at the end like this, and we'll do it that way. And that way, we don't get any wear on the tent. That could be a good idea. Just marked off that there. And I think that's about there. You know, it could get pulled a little bit more. So I want to give a little bit of give in it. So I think that's about there because even if it was left loose like this, I think we're still about there. One thought did occur to me, I've just been chatting to someone. He says you could put a post in there that would hold, help hold that up. So that's an idea. Now the idea would be to find that point and then to cut cuts along here um, so we need to do that without sort of ripping all the way so I'm going to try and do that now. The camera fell down it's a sign 
things are getting windy. So look, I've cut this out. So you need to be very careful not to rip that any further. But this is where the collar will go. And that will go around here like this. So we need to do a little sort of collar that will tie around very similar to this. And it will just go from that point to that point. And then, oh, ah, now this one we've got to be careful of. If it starts getting larry again, I don't want it, this to rip. So let's just try and just tie this back on a bit. So I'm just holding it because I want it to rip and the wind's getting up. But you'll have a little collar like that around there, much the same as this. And we're just going to do the same as this. Bring this down to here and then this will zip up down here. And then we'll just have these. Oh, you can't see. And then it will just tie off to these here, here. So we need to sort of start to, oh, did I leave all my clips at home? But there we go. I need to make, start making some little marks on here. And then this will just come round, really, to the same sort of point here, won't it, really? But... At the back here, we know that this, I think, we have a hole here that will, I mean, it will fit, won't it, that? So I think we just need to get that to the end there, and then that will need to be pulled from here out to here. You see the shape there? If we have to do it there, so that's okay. So we need an eyelet here, and then we come round to the other side. It's a similar thing. So this edge piece here will literally be pulled to here across and we get that sort of shape here. And it's a little bit tight, isn't it? But I don't know, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know why that's smaller than it was meant to be. But, oh, and we also need a little, I think one, two, three. Yeah, so two on the end and two little, two little, um, we also need two little loops, I think, will tie into the tent, and then we won't need a rope under the tent that will rub all the waterproofing and basically ruin the tent within minutes, won't it? So that'll be that bit done. So next time we come down to the boat with the tent, we could have almost a working, working version, couldn't we? So I'm very excited for that. Like the tent, we're going to try if we, uh, just see if we can push the spray cover thing on a little bit. So we're going to cut this wood. Let's bring you down here. So we're going to cut this wood where we thought we need to cut it. I should have done this at home, but I didn't. And then it's not these two pieces, it's the other two. And then we can take that from there. So, remember that's how they would go, like that, and then the other one around the other side, like so. Ooh. This then clears that, and as that's pulled up, go like that. That. Say we do this, we do this, there we go, we do this, it's almost like lacing up a shoe to be honest with you. There we go, and then you've got that kind of arrangement. So hopefully this is starting to make sense. 
like that. So we need those just to be literally tight enough just to give us that that thing like that so these can be permanently tied like this and then actually sitting either side of that might work quite nicely look at that and then all we need is some way of managing this little gap here so if we can push this here and then all we need is something then to tie this back here and I think we've cracked it like that this piece will go down here as you already know oh actually this needs to be here this piece will be like this or as you already know and then the only thing we've got to do is find a way of notching this in here I mean the thought did occur to me instead of notching out the wood here we could notch this out and that would sit in there so let's Let's give that a go now. Oh, split that. Oh yeah, you can see how that has to sort of... Oh, it does work though. But we need to be at an angle, more of an angle here. Otherwise, it's not going to work with the angle there. But you can see, let's just test it. That was secured here. That was secured here like that. Look. Now, it will come forward, but not if that is pushed in. But it's back we need. And look, back, it won't come. So I'm pretty pleased with that. The only thing we've got to do is account for this being a bit tighter. Okay, it's game over. Um, it's I've gone and <laughs> got it. The side I marked it, so it's it's going to be upright like that. <sighs> Bit of a nightmare, but I think I know the general idea of that. If we actually try it that way, you'll see. It's, it's very. I haven't got the tools to cut this out either, but you'll see it would fit there, and it wouldn't really move that way or that way because it slots in. Now we also need to make account for it being up as well which is interesting. So that is going to be quite tough. What we might have to do is overcut it and then put like an insert of fiberglass, make sure we protect this and put like a little fiberglass piece there. I don't know, but that is annoying. I've done it the wrong way. Oh, typical that, isn't it? But we get the idea. I think this is going to move the project on. Um, we need the spray cover as well to bolt this too to check it but I think that's all we can do again today so it was a bit of a bit of a quick one today but again I did warn you it was going to be some quick fire video um, tomorrow I mean oh ah and I've also felt some rain so I think it's time to go uh, tomorrow what I would say is we've also I think We'll come down, we'll, we'll try the tent bits. I think we might have to forfeit the spray cover for now and come back to it. But I think the tent we'll crack on with and then tomorrow we'll bring that down, we'll refit it and see if we can get it the last little tweaks done. Um, and then, yeah, I think we're, we're almost there, aren't we? Really, really almost there. So yeah, um, I also want to hoover the, the boat out. You can see, look at all these bits in here. And to be honest with you, if the weather can just hold out, a little bit of paint in that transom locker wouldn't go amiss, would it? So yeah, I wanna do that as well. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Almost there. <laughs>